92 years ago, a new planet was discovered behind the Neptune. It was existed as a planet for 76 years until the year 2006 came. In 2006, it was categorized into a new category called dwarf planets. It lost its eligibility to be a planet in a condition. That dwarf planet is the Pluto. Why Pluto is no longer a planet? Let's see. Welcome to Science Pub by Mr. GK. Let's get into the video. Before seeing about that, let's see about the Pluto. We should know two belts in our solar system. One is asteroid belt which is between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter and the other is Kuiper belt which is beyond the Neptune. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper belt. It was the first object discovered in Kuiper belt and emits the largest known body in that area. It is the ninth largest and tenth most massive known body directly orbiting the Sun. Objects which are beyond the Neptune are called trans-Neptunian objects or also known as TNOs. Pluto is one of those. It is the largest known trans-Neptunian object by volume but is less massive than Aries. Like other Kuiper belt objects, it is primarily made of ice and rock. Okay, what is the size of Pluto? Is it big as Neptune? Or like our Earth? Or at least as a moon? No, it is even smaller than our moon because it is one-sixth the mass of our moon and one-third its volume. Pluto has a moderately eccentric and inclined orbit ranging from 30 to 49 astronomical units from the Sun. Therefore, Pluto periodically comes closer to the Sun than the Neptune. Now your doubt would arise in our mind. Why did the Neptune and Pluto not collide? They are not collided because still the orbital resonance with Neptune prevents them from colliding. Now, let's see its discovery. Pluto was discovered by the 23-year-old Clyde Tomba in Lowell Observatory. Tomba's task was to systematically image the night sky in pairs of photographs, then examine each pair and determine whether any objects had shifted position. On February 18, 1930, after nearly a year of searching, Tombard discovered a possibly moving object on photographic plates taken on January 23 and January 29. A lesser quality photograph taken on Jan 21 helped confirm the movement and the new planet had discovered. The name Pluto after the Greek or Roman god of the underworld was proposed by Venetia Burney, an 11-year-old schoolgirl in Oxford, England, who was interested in classical mythology. From 1992 onward, many bodies were discovered orbiting in the same volume as Pluto, showing Pluto is part of a population of objects called Kuiper Belt. This made its official status as a planet controversial with many questioning whether Pluto should be considered together with or separately from its surrounding population. Ceres, Pallas, Juno and Vesta lost their planet status after the discovery of many other asteroids. Similarly, objects increasingly closer in size to Pluto was discovered in the Kuiper Belt region. The debate came to a head in August 2006 with an IAU resolution that created an official definition for the term planet. According to this resolution, there are three conditions for an object in the solar system to be considered a planet. First, the object must be in orbit around the Sun. Second, the object must be massive enough to be rounded by its own gravity. More specifically, its own gravity should pull it into a shape defined by hydrostatic equilibrium. Third, it must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit such as debris, asteroids, etc. Let's check the Pluto with these conditions. Pluto revolves around the Sun, it passes the first condition. It is round in shape, passes the second, but it located in a population of many objects such as asteroids, debris called Kuiper Belt. So it fails the third condition making it not a planet. The International Astronomical Union, also known as IAU, further decided the planets that bodies like the Pluto meet criteria 1 and 2 but do not meet criterion 3 would be called dwarf planets. It also included the Ceres, which is in asteroid belt. In June 2008, the IAU had announced in a press release that the term Plutoid would henceforth be used to refer to Pluto and other planetary mass objects that have an orbital semi-major axis greater than that of Neptune. Ceres will not be a Plutoid because its orbit lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The New Horizons spacecraft, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, is the first and so far only attempt to explore Pluto directly. Let's explore more about this beautiful dwarf planet. If you like this video, press the like button and share this video to all. Subscribe our channel by clicking subscribe and bell icon to receive more videos. Stay tuned, signing off.